pick in the 2014 NBA draft. <laughs> the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Brown from Oklahoma. Nah, this guy, man, he's terrible. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and thanks for coming. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy? <laughs> Your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those chunks. Your guy? Your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because his dream being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking, maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you figure that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel. Which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? <laughs> this just affects our timing, okay? You just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks, sooner or later players are gonna wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation, a chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step is to keep working hard. And we'll find you a home before you know it. All right, man. I'm believing in you, bro. Make it happen. Okay. I know you've been staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? You told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. Freedom of choice and all that good stuff. And that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone nonstop. There's some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? Whoa, it's not that easy, my friend. I, but there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to sit and impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay, here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. Oh, I belong, all right? Ain't no doubt in my mind, coach. <laughs> Move, man, what are you doing? We got our foot in the door. Pistons have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform, you got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't, you got a shot at being last in a long line of might have been. And I'm probably out on the street too, living in this rat hole. Hold up. Rat hole? This is all I can afford, because you <laughs> didn't get like me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer-upper. Now pack your bags. Oh, We're going to the show. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door, and I'm going to kick this sucker down, man. <laughs> you better. And I'm I don't want to ruin I'm any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, this is my house he's talking about. Finally.